Good morning, break-in students. So glad to be with you one more time. I'm wearing my break-out shirt, and break-out is our ministry for middle school students. Breakthrough is for our high school students, and you're here for break-in, which is our Sunday morning ministry for fifth and sixth graders. Um, but if you're a fifth grader going into the sixth grade, uh, we hope that you are going to join us on Sunday nights for our youth group time, as well as Wednesday nights for our Connection 412, which is our Bible study time. Um, we're in a series right now on friends. This coming Wednesday, you can learn more about how to be a really good friend. And then on Sunday nights, you can have a whole lot of fun. Uh, Nancy De Leon is our new youth director, and she's fabulous. You're going to love her. And if you haven't gotten the chance to uh, get to know her, please do. Last Sunday, they did Crazy Capture the Flag. They had water balloons that actually had paint in them, and they were doing paint bombs. It was crazy. It was fun. Now, tonight, we're not going to meet for our Sunday Night Youth Night because today is a very special day. Today is Father's Day. And we want to make sure that all of you students have a chance to uh, spend time with your, your family, with your dads, or important people um, within your own life. And the question that I want to ask today is this. How can we honor our dads? Um, today is Father's Day, and it's important that we honor our dads. In fact, in the Bible, there's a thing called the Ten Commandments, and God gave us these Ten Commandments, and we can read about them in Exodus chapter 20. And one of the commandments that is... Uh, one of these top 10 for the Lord is that we would honor our moms and dads and that when we do this, it, there's a promise that goes with it that we'll live a long life, but also live a good life in the land that we find ourselves in, meaning that uh, our just days will go a whole lot better uh, for us. That's found in Exodus chapter 20, verse 12. But I want to tell you about this guy named Butch O'Hare. You probably never heard of Butch O'Hare. That name means probably nothing to you. It really doesn't even mean that much to me, other than the fact that I've flown into the Chicago airport called O'Hare a couple of different times. And when I lived in Chicago for a couple of years, um, everybody knew about O'Hare. I picked people up at O'Hare. I dropped people off. And again, I flew out of there a few times. Uh, O'Hare is one of the biggest airports in the world. It's massive. And it was named after this guy named Butch O'Hare. Now, Butch O'Hare was a World War II Navy pilot. And he did incredible things and eventually died in battle. Um, but he saved an aircraft carrier once by taking on a number of German planes. Uh, and just, again, just was a, a hero. And he ended up winning the Medal of Honor. Now, what's interesting about Butch is that his story doesn't just begin and end there. I'll tell you a little bit more about that. Um, but I'm giving a message today in big church to our dads on how to be Medal of Honor dads. And I hope that you have a dad um, that strives to live for God and, and wants to do his best for you and uh, your family. But the truth is not everybody has a great dad. Not all of us have dads that are in our homes Maybe our dads don't even love the Lord, and maybe they're not even really truly deserving of our respect and honor. And the question becomes, how can we then honor our dads? I mean, the Bible's pretty clear. Exodus 20, 12 says that we ought to honor our moms and dads. And the reason we ought to do that, again, number one, God promises us to, to give us longer life. That's what it says in Exodus 20, 12. When you honor your dads, your moms, you're going to live a longer life. Now, that doesn't mean that those who always honor their dads will never, ever have to go through death or hardship. It's a general truth, meaning that generally speaking, those who honor their parents live longer, healthier, and happier lives. Not only that, but our society becomes a whole lot better when people honor their parents. One of the things about society when it has a lot of social ills is when kids 
forget to honor their parents and they disrespect them and, and all of that. So our society is just better when we honor our parents. But also remember this, and maybe this is the key, it pleases God. Uh, God says this in Colossians 3.20, he says when we honor our parents, he's happy. It says that God is pleased with our actions. So even if you don't have a parent that really honestly deserves our respect, our honor, and our praise, when we still do it, God is pleased. Now the question you might be asking yourself, students, then is this, how can I honor my parents, my dad specifically, today is Father's Day. Well, let me share this first of all. If you have a dad or a mom that maybe doesn't follow the Lord, maybe has been even a little hard, abusive, maybe absent from your life, uh, maybe he's even been somewhat of a train wreck for his own life and his family. And really the truth is there's not much you can respect about him. Here's some things you can do that I think will please the Lord. Number one, forgive him. Uh, remember this, that we're not perfect either. And in the eyes of God, everybody has fallen short, but yet God still forgives. And even when our parents fall short of what we would hope they would be for us, we can still forgive them because God has forgiven us. So I would say forgive. Now, does that mean that you just totally forget all the bad things they've done? No. Does it mean that you're just a doormat and you let them continue to abuse you or hurt you? No, it doesn't mean that. But it means this, that you understand grace, that God has forgiven you, and you can pass that on to others as well. Number two is you can appreciate the good things in their life. I have a feeling that even for those of us who maybe don't have the best of parents, there's still many good traits about them. God created them. God sees a potential within them. And so see the good things in their life and appreciate them. And then number three, this will just make your life better, is speak kindly about your parents. Uh, say good things about them. It's so easy to bag our parents now. Kids seem to do this more and more and more. Rarely do I see kids who talk really good about their parents. And it's one of the best ways you can honor your mom or dad is just speak good about them. Not only to them, but when they're not even around, when you're talking with another friend or a teacher or another parent, just say, you know, my mom and dad are good and here's some good things about them. So speak kindly about them. And then, then my last thing, number four is this, pray for your parents, especially those of us who maybe didn't have the best of dads. Uh, you know, I think there's a part within all dads that they want to do good things, but sometimes they don't know how. Sometimes their dad wasn't the best example. And so when we give them a little bit of grace, I think we see them in a new light. And then we begin to pray for them and ask God to bless them and maybe change their life. Uh, God really just opens up blessings, not only for them, but for us as well. Again, God promises us to give us a longer, healthier, happier life when we honor our parents. Now, for those that have dads that are there and trying their best and moms, and here's some other ways that you can honor your parents. Certainly, forgiving, appreciating, speaking kindly, and praying for our parents are great things we all ought to do. But here's a few more that we can do. Number one, just respect your parents. And what I mean by respect is, uh, and specifically, I guess, is share that respect with them. I talked about how we can speak kindly about them. Talk to your parents. When they ask you to do, say, do something, say, okay. Don't give them the bad body language and the rolled eyes and, and all of this. Just say, okay, mom, dad, you're in charge. Sounds good. And then number two is this. Listen to their stories. Dads love to tell the story of their own life. Maybe you can discover how hard it was for them as a kid. Maybe you might appreciate them even a little bit more. So listen to their story because their story is also your story. There is no separating. And then number three is ask dad for advice. You know, when you become a teenager, a lot of times you shut down. You don't want to talk to your parents. 
And I would share this, that one of the best things you can do, the way you can honor your, your dad, is just say, hey, dad, I, I can use a little bit of help here. You know what? Good dads, not perfect dads, but good dads, they just jump for those opportunities. They say, let me help you out. Let me give you some advice on how to handle things, whether it be with how do you handle you know, girls or, or boys and you're liking them, you've got these feelings and maybe homework, um, maybe stress and peer pressure and they're there to help you. They love you. They care for you. And then number four is this hang out with your dad. Today's Father's Day. Just go to your dad and say, hey dad, what do you want to do today? I'd love to hang out with you. And if it's just watching a ball game, cool. If it's doing something in the backyard, great. Maybe taking a walk together, who knows? Just spend time with your dad. Your dad's going to love it. Again, so here's the point today. Honor your father and your mom. It'll go better for you. The Bible promises us you'll live a longer, healthier life. Our society's going to be better because of it. And you'll please God. Even when you don't have the mom or dad that's perfect and maybe worthy of all of our respect and praise, if you forgive them, appreciate the good things, Speak kindly about them and pray for them. God's going to be so happy with you. And then just respect your parents. Listen to them. Ask them for advice. And then hang out with them. You're going to honor your parents. You're going to do a great thing. You're going to, you're going to obey the command that God has given us. Okay, let me close out the story with Butch O'Hare. Uh, he won the Medal of Honor. They named the airport in Chicago after him. But Butch also had a dad. His dad worked for a guy named Al Capone. Al Capone was a crook, a criminal. He was a mob boss back in the 1930s. He did a lot of bad things. Butch O'Hare's dad worked for him, but then decided, I can't work for this guy anymore. And Butch O'Hare's dad then went to the FBI and said, I want to give you information that will stop Al Capone from doing the bad things he's doing. Al Capone ended up going to prison because of Butch O'Hare's dad making this hard decision, doing this hard, hard thing. And then in 1939, just a couple of weeks before Al Capone was going to get back out of prison, some of Al Capone's men came, found Butch O'Hare's dad, and shot him to death. It was about that same time that Butch O'Hare was going into the military, making his hard decision to serve his country. He would eventually die for it. Um, Butch O'Hare's dad died for his convictions. Butch O'Hare ended up dying for his conviction to make the nation better. There's a connection always between our dads and us. And if we find those good things about our dads, we appreciate them, then we can begin to live out a life that God has for us as well. God bless break-in students. Grab one of your cards. We hope you are connecting this summer with some of the great opportunities there are for you and for the high school students. It's going to be awesome. Honor your dad today. It's Father's Day. God bless.